Hello Chemistry 300 students, Mr. Parker here and in this screencast we're going to be taking a look at the program Graphical Analysis and in the previous screencast Mr. Workman had talked about um, entering data um, into this program with one data set. What we're going to be looking at here is looking at the idea of density and looking at two different data sets on the same graph so that way we can compare the slopes which, in, which means we're going to be comparing the densities between the two objects. Uh, we'll be looking at aluminum um, first and then we'll be looking at the zinc as the second data set. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and change the data set okay, to giving it a title. Let's name it mass versus volume okay, because that's what we're looking at here. Go ahead and OK. Then we're going to change the x, which um, you know on a graph when we're graphing density, the x will always be, always be volume. The unit here is going to be uh, milliliters. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and change the Y to mass. And that's going to always be measured in grams in this particular case. Okay, so there's our data table set up. Now we're going to start off with some points. Um, we're going to start off at zero at a point and zero again as a mass. And then let's go ahead and enter some data we have. So we have 9.03 of volume, and the mass of that was 28.03. 9.2. Okay, uh, the second volume we had was 18.06 and the mass of 57.76. Then we had a, uh, a 27.09 and the, the mass of 86.60. Okay, so now if you look at the graph, it has graphed out your um, density, basically the slope that you see here. If we did our best fit line, you can see the best fit line. This is the slope that's going to do um, show us the um, actual density because you're going to take grams. If you look at the units, grams over milliliters. Now this is a little bit higher than the density for aluminum, um, but you can see the idea of what you're seeing with the, um, the best fit line there. I'm going to take the best fit line off for a minute, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a second data set for zinc. In order to do that, all right, you're going, going to go into where it says data up here in the top menu, click data, and then you're going to go down to where it says new data set. Okay, and what you'll see appear here is two new columns of volume and mass, and you'll see it say volume mass versus volume volume two. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add our new data point for zinc. Okay, so now our volume there is um, 1.73. And the mass of that was 15.8. Then we have um, 3.46. And then a mass of 32.64. And then the last um, volume we had was 4.19. Okay, and then um, 47.47. Okay, so what we've done here is again is we're, we are graphing two different plots or two different objects graph um, trying to look at their difference in their densities. The only thing is that when you do add dense, uh, the second data set, they do not automatically appear on your graph. So what you need to do is you're going to take, you're going to right click on your um, graph, you're going to go to graph options, and then up here you have access these options, you click on that. And then down here, you will see this is your first data set that's already been um, graphed, the mass on the y-axis. Now what you need to do is hit the little plus sign, and we need to, math, we need to graph the second data for the y-axis there. And you're going to hit done, okay? And now you see it will plot, or it will graph out the third, or sorry, the second data set for us. Okay, and then we can go ahead and do the best fit lines. Okay, and we want both of these checked. Okay, so the both of them will have a best fit line. And then you can kind of pull these off away from each other a little bit so you can kind of see them a little bit better. And you will notice, again, this is our, um, what we were looking at was the aluminum. And this is zinc, okay? And again, this is a little bit high for zinc, but um, you can get the idea of what you see here. This is telling us the slope, is telling us the density, and also here the um, slope here is telling us the density that we have for these two objects. 
And if you wanted to add a third okay, graph to this, the same idea, you would just go into the idea of data and new data set. You can add your third data set. So this was a quick screencast session on graphical analysis and adding um, at least two data sets, if not more, to your graph.